So stocks are basically crashing right now, and that's leading to a lot of headlines that you'll see out there speculating on if the United States will see another recession. You know, and that's a scary term. I lived through 2008, and it took quite a while for the economy to recover. So will a recession happen? Well, nobody knows. That's the first thing. Um, but we're going to talk about three investments, specifically three Vanguard ETFs that you might consider as a good bet if and when a recession does take place. Let's dive right into the video. Welcome back. This is Joshua Talks Money. Here I talk about everything personal finance. I built and sold a tech company which taught me a whole lot about money. And I'm going to share the good and the bad, the lessons I've learned and that I'm still learning with you right here on this channel. If that sounds interesting, I would love for you to consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, and following along. I put out content like this every single week. All right, so the question of the day, do you think there is a recession coming in the US economy? Leave a comment below and say yes or no. Let's see where we land, what you all think. All right, so doom and gloom, and it's everywhere. People predicting the end of our bull run in the stock market. Typically, the big fear is inflation. And we've talked about inflation on this channel. You probably see the effects of it at your local supermarket or in pricing of different goods and services. And so that leads to this growing question, are we headed towards a recession? Okay, but let's talk about what you can do. So you know that I love Vanguard and much of my money is in Vanguard ETFs. So I thought, why don't we talk about three ETFs you can consider? These are financials, dividends, and value. Now this is not financial advice, and you know I am not some financial guru and expert when it comes to picking stocks that you know time the market. However, the things I'm discussing in this video, these are principles and just well-believed concepts for this type of economic uncertainty. So why don't we start with value? All right, so jumping here to the computer, let's kick things off with Vanguard's Value Index Fund ETF, ticker symbol VTV. So if you're not familiar with the term value, basically these are companies that are trading at lower prices compared to basically the fundamentals of the business, right? So you could contrast this with something like a growth stock where these are high valuations. Uh, oftentimes these companies can be unprofitable, losing money, and investors for those are typically trying to price in and look for future growth all the upside. Hey, you can be losing money to today to get product market fit, but you're going to 10x perhaps, you know, over the long term. And companies that come to mind when I think of those growth names, something like Uber, that that was a company that was losing billions of dollars in cash and just trying to get that traction. Um, where value is something fundamentally different. This is a company that is established, that has a great balance sheet, that has product market fit, you know, that has uh, great products and services, cash flow, and essentially is a safer investment, especially in times of economic uncertainty. And so with that, let's take a look at Vanguard's summary here of VTV. One thing we'll talk about is the expense ratio. So that is 0.04%, which is pretty good. You know, we've talked about how looking out for fees is, is a great way to make sure you can save and make more money in the long term. I'm going to scroll down to what I like to look at is the portfolio composition. And this is by sector. You know, what sectors am I diversified in if I purchase VTV? Well, here we see financials is by far the biggest, followed by healthcare and industrials. And if we look at actually the companies that make up the largest amount of the pie in this ETF, we'll see some big names. This goes back to that kind of value theme. You know, when I think of companies like Bank of America or maybe Pfizer and J and J, these are these are huge companies, and uh, and and they have really great track records of growth, of earnings, even dividends, and that is what VTV aims to capture in one ETF. Next up, let's look at financials. So this is going to be the Vanguard Financial Index ETF, ticker symbol VFH. And the reason financials are in this topic here is because the Fed has talked about raising interest rates. In fact, there's speculation of maybe 
three, four, five, even six rate hikes in 2022, companies that aim to benefit from that are the banks because they effectively are going to be lending money at higher interest rates, able to basically have a profit margin built in to that function. If we take a look at Vanguard's summary of VFH, we're actually gonna see a little bit of a larger uh, expense ratio, a little bit higher. And if we jump down to the composition, I think this is pretty interesting. You'll see 22% is these diversified banks. You also have uh, some different holdings here, but if we jump down to the second largest, that is regional banks. And I think regional banks have a really important role to play in the economy, especially as you move away from these metropolitan areas. Now, I personally use the Bank of America. That can be controversial. Um, I've had nothing but great uh, experiences with them. I've been with B of A for about 15 years, both personally and uh, with my businesses. And they are here in the top holdings of VFH. Because look at these banks. These are the biggest banks that you've heard of here. And this is really where the ETF focuses. So as interest rates rise, I think these companies are going to do really well. And instead of picking which bank you're going to go with, from an investment standpoint, you could just have all of this sector in one ETF. And lastly, the third best ETF you could consider in a recession, don't take my word for it, is the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, ticker symbol VYM. I've done a full video on this, so we won't go into all the detail, but from a very high level, why would you want dividends in a time of uncertainty and perhaps recession? Well, the idea there is that these companies that you could invest in through this ETF will be paying that passive dividend income stream to you, regardless of what's going on in the market, and that can act as a hedge against inflation and uncertainty. And if we look at the portfolio diversification, we have financials yet again. We have consumer staples and healthcare. And when I think about consumer staples, I just think of things like Coca-Cola or Tide laundry detergent. You know, These are things that even if the market's down, we're still gonna have to wash our clothes. We're still gonna drink our Coca-Cola. <laughs> There's plenty of things we have to do uh, regardless of what the market's doing. And so that's really the thought here on this ETF focused on dividends. You'll see that when we look at the top 10 holdings across all three of these ETFs, they're pretty similar. And that should say something, that there's, uh, there's a, this idea that these companies are pretty sound regardless of what the market's doing, and you can get exposure to them in these three different types of ETFs. So you could consider investing in one or investing in all of these ETFs, and my assumption is they would do pretty well here in the next year. I like this a lot better than going and picking which company, which stock, which bank, you know, which healthcare, which vaccine uh, provider is going to do the best. Instead, I'd rather own all of them in a low-cost, low-priced ETF that I can buy and hold. Okay, and there you have it. So those are three ETFs that you could consider to hedge against the uncertainties of a impending recession. Do I think that's gonna happen? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, I do think that there's been such a massive sell-off in these small cap stocks and in these high-tech growth names that there's been this smoldering decay and decline in stock prices for quite a while. I mean, my portfolio and some of the riskier things that I hold there's, there's positions that are down literally 40, 50%. That is significant. And so I think there's parts of the economy that have already corrected. I think there's other parts that might need to be corrected. But do I think we're going to plunge into some you know, multi-year uh, recession? I'm not so sure. And what I will say, the people that talk about this, they talk about this pretty much all year, all the time, until it happens. And so don't get caught up in some of that. Stick to your plan, invest in great companies, invest in great ETF products to give you diversified exposure. And most importantly, think about investing over the long term. We're gonna look back on this period of time and we won't even remember. Okay, so that is it for me today. If this was helpful, again, I'd love for you to subscribe and leave me a comment. I write back to every single one of you. We will be back here soon with a new video. I'll talk to you then. Ooh. Ooh.